Well, good Wednesday evening, everyone. Take a look outside. Lots of blue skies showing up across the area. Just a wonderful day. Now, we did have quite the breeze out there, but that breeze made it feel oh so comfortable out there throughout the region. 78 degrees currently at the airport. We've got winds out of the west and northwest, anywhere between 15 miles per hour, gusting as high as 20 to 25 earlier today. Even had a couple of 30 mile per hour wind gusts earlier today. And look at that dew point down into the lower 50, so some very dry air in place. So what caused the wind today? Well, it's the wind machine, this big close upper low over the Great Lakes here spinning counterclockwise because winds go uh, counterclockwise around low pressure. So as that uh, wind went around that, we got that northwesterly flow on the back side and that's what brought us to cool breezy conditions today. But it also helped to spread that ragweed. So that's why some of you folks that are probably suffering from that. If you're like me and have those allergies, that's why if you're wondering. Lots of sunshine this evening. Temperatures in the mid 70s. We'll see our numbers falling into the 60s throughout the evening hours, but we're headed for the 50s again as we go throughout the overnight hours. Overall, should be quiet and nice as we go throughout tonight, but as we go into your Thursday, I want to turn your attentions off to the north and west just coming across the Canadian border as we speak. That's our next storm system and it's going to be a quick mover, but it will make its way into the area by Thursday and believe it or not, we have a chance of potentially seeing some thunderstorms and a couple of those could be on the strong to severe side. So let me walk you through the timing of this hour by hour. Again, we've got that southerly wind as we get into your Thursday, so that's going to be noticeable as we'll start to get a little bit more humidity in the air throughout the day. I think as we get after lunchtime heading into a special that three, four o'clock time frame. So maybe as the kids are heading home from school, or maybe if you're heading out to some of those after school practices, look at this. Yeah, we could have some showers and thunderstorms popping up on the map, and it would not be impossible to see one or two of these storms becoming on the strong to severe side. So what we want you to do, make sure you have our mobile weather app downloaded and stay up to date here because we have seen the severe weather risk increase a little bit as we go into your Thursday afternoon. Now we're talking the potential of scattered storms that could be strong to severe. And so what I want you to know is that we could be dealing with damaging winds up to six miles per hour and also that potential of some hail. So we'll be following things closely. We want you to do that as well. Let me give you an update on the tropics because we're continuing to monitor Dorian down here now north and east of Puerto Rico. Now winds of 80 miles per hour, but gusting now up to 100 and this storm continues to get better organized. You can see now as it swirls north and east of San Juan, the good news. We always tell you the worst of the weather is on the east side of the hurricane. Look at this. So most of the worst of the weather is now going to pass east of Puerto Rico. The, the good news also right now, there's lots of wind shear. You see all these lines. Those are winds aloft that are helping to tear apart the storm. So even though it's organized a little bit, it's still fighting some battles right now. The problem, look at this in the middle of the Northeast Atlantic Ocean here as we get towards the Bahamas, little wind shear. So that's going to be a perfect environment for the storm to really thrive. Also, look at the water temperatures out here in the Central Atlantic that Dorian will be making its way into. Water temperatures at 90 degrees or higher. This is just hot bath water, perfect fuel for hurricanes to really thrive. And we're also watching a blocking high pressure that's situated just off the Southeast Coast. That keeps this storm from turning north into the Atlantic Ocean, so it can only go around this ridge off to the west. And right now, our two major models, the American model takes this thing into northeast Florida. Our European model right now takes it across southern Florida. Either way you slice it, we're looking at a major hurricane here beginning to organize, especially as we get towards Friday night into Saturday, south and east of Florida. And this thing could make a beeline towards Florida as we get towards Sunday night into Monday, just in time for the Labor Day holiday itself. So we want you to stay tuned. I know some of you may have some plans down there. We're going to keep you updated as this track will likely change some as to get new information in. Check back tonight at 10. We'll have some new updates for you as well. 84 degrees for us today with afternoon showers and storms coming in as we get into your Thursday with that cold front and then drier as we get towards your Friday.